Moments with C.S. Lewis The Only Well From his book, The Weight of Glory Our desire to bless people is quaint, but misguided. God will not bless us unless he has us. Why would he? When we think we are blessed, what we mean is things have gone well for us or better than expected for us. Do you think God goes around doing that for folks that are not in relationship with him because you said so? It's rare even for that to happen with Christians, but for those who are strangers to Christ? Why would he make it easier for folks to ignore him by making them as you say, blessed. In the end, if a person has not chosen the kingdom of God, it will make no difference what they chose instead. Kingsley, are you really saying it will make no difference whether someone was a patriot or a womanizer, an addict or an artist, a drunk or a cabinet member, a cleaner or a scientist, a hoarder or a philanthropist? No, none. No difference that matters eternally. Without Christ, we will have missed what we were created for and rejected the only thing that matters. Why let someone leave your presence thinking that they've been blessed when you didn't introduce them to Christ? Does it matter to a man dying in the desert which route he took if he missed the only well? Makes sense, would you agree? (laughs) 